What is up, bros? Me, Josh here. In today's video, I'm going to go over an insane game we had in the Tier 8 Premium uh, Battle. What is up, bros? Me, Josh here. In today's video, I'm going to go over an insane game we had in the Tier 8 Premium Battleship, the Alabama, the newest Tier 8 Premium to hit World of Warships, and this thing is quickly becoming one of my favorite battleships at Tier 8, and it has been doing very well for me and this game was proof of that one of my best games in any battleship nonetheless this battleship so we are on north we are top tier we got pretty freaking lucky with this matchmaking actually so um a decent amount of battleships with some good farm some fragile cruisers but some fire breathing cruisers and not too many long range torp destroyers so we get kind of spoiled in this matchmaking it seems to be like the really big games you get kind of spoiled with uh, certain kinds of things so Although there wasn't a cap here, we decided to push on this side. I figured we would beat any kind of situation. Um, uh, their whole team would have to kind of come here for me to kind of bail from this side. Um, even though when there's not a cap here, I tend to push the side, especially uh, divisions tend to spawn on this side. It's one of the few main division spawns. Um, I tend to push this side because if somebody is rolling B and C, or if a lack of team is rolling, um, to this side, you can get a really, really good flank on the enemy team. Um, if they are pushing kind of the middle, they're going to be kind of uh, almost uh, completely straight and, and, and heading broadside. So in uh put a lot of damage into him so we put a random salvo on that chap and we got a random citadel he slowed down as much as he could but we ended up getting him so um but really on this situation we have two chapayevs which is the main concern out of this whole team kind of because they are just complete fire breathers so i was a little worried I wasn't too worried about the, the gata and the other dds and um, i wasn't really too worried about these battleships as well the alabama can tank very well i got some good support with the destroyer and a, a really strong cruiser and so i'm going to try to knock down this uh new max as much as i can and boom just like that we knock off almost a 23k salvo off a of broadside new max and we're going to kind of punish that guy throughout that throughout this entire game so he's got to he's got to pull off and um, really just trying to get as much damage out as possible. So um, a couple of their chaps kind of uh, moved out. We lost one of our uh, destroyers. That's not too bad. And really, this is one of those games because they're all USN kind of lower tiers. Well, there's uh, the the Benson, the Farragut, and the Gata. So only one with really long range torps that we really had to worry about. So we're going to hug this island as much as we can and do as much damage as we can. I just don't want to get in the open. Um, against these two Chapayos, uh, because if I do, then they are just going to absolutely burn me down. These things are flamethrowers, and you really need to be pretty careful around certain ships like this. Um, the Imagi dish did shoot at me, so I was really hoping uh, uh, to get uh, out of there before, basically, I just got absolutely wrecked by this guy. And luckily, it has a high uh, uh, rudder ship, so I was able to kind of get this turn before he was going to absolutely just smash me. So... Right, there's the first fire, and I'm not too surprised. You know, I, you can usually tank most of the fires and just let the repair go, but um, I was trying to help this guy. Their, div, their two chappy divs seemed to know what they were doing, so um, I was trying to just pump in as much damage and maybe get a good uh, broadside on that guy, but he didn't end up giving it to me, so just pumped a nice little, what, 17, 18k salvo on a, on a uh, front forward uh, chappy, so we'll take that. Already up to 65k, one kill with the close quarters in one citadel. So pretty freaking nice. And this uh, Amagi, I thought I was absolutely going to delete this guy. Absolutely delete this guy. God tier dispersion. Look at that grouping right there. We didn't get a single citadel. Now the Amagi is known as being very troll, so I wasn't too, um, too bummed out about that. But uh, I thought I was going to get, uh, even though it was a good salvo, I thought I was going to get more damage. Than that. I thought he was going to be absolutely annihilated there. So really good damage so far. I mean, just in the first five minutes, we're already over 80,000 damage. I will take that any day of the week. Um, but we do have the two Chappy Div, and those are things we really need to worry about. We had a band that's just kind of pushing forward. Friend of the stream, so I'm not going to say anything bad. JK Seamus. Um, and uh, we're trying to knock these guys out. So since they did bump there, I knew that he was going to have to make a little bit more of a turn. And one thing I like to kind of do in that situation too is something that kind of knows how to angle with the cruiser is just, and there you got a little good uh, dispersion, a little help, is I'll pump fake actually, pseudo pump fake, and I, and I will shoot one turret, which will force them to turn, and then with the rest of it, I will turn. So um, basically what they do is they commit to one side, and it's a good trick. You guys should try it out. And CMOS snags that kill right there. So it wasn't all in vain. But what a lot of cruisers will do is they will pump fake or, or, or they'll move as soon as you shoot the salvo. So what I'll do is I'll throw one turret at them and then that'll get them to turn. And if they aren't running the um, 
the rudder shift, they most likely won't be able to get a correction off in time before the rest of it. So you kind of shoot, you see where he's shooting, or you see where he's turning, and then you kind of keep rolling and then put the rest of the salvo on him. So down go those, those two guys. Probably they're two better players and two really strong ships. So we're going to be doing all right. And now I'm just going to start heading to the enemies, the, to the uh, west side of the map because there's not really much over here anymore. There's an Amagi, there's a DD that's pretty low, and then this new... Uh, New Orleans, and we're starting to lose guys on the enemy side. Even though we had, what, 4v... What is that? 4v7? So that means there were 8 guys on the enemy team. Yeah, 8 guys on our team. And they're playing against, what? They're playing against, like, 5? 8v5? They've lost the only two ships. So that's what we were kind of playing with this time. Um, so I just needed to kind of push forward and get some more damage on them. So already over a hundred thousand damage. We were just the rolls we were getting in the ship. And if you remember that nice little uh, New Mexico that we played with uh, at the beginning of the stream, there he is again. And we're gonna be sending him a nice little parting gift in a little bit. But really, the damage rolls I got in this game, the dispersion when I needed it, it was absolutely out of this world. And um, the results, uh, the result screen really shows. How strong the ship can be if you were getting those lucky rolls and doing really really good damage so right here uh i really need to keep my benson safe and taking out a radar cruiser is pretty massive and so that's what i was going to try to do right here help him out in case he hit the torps i saved my salvo i'm just going to put it in and try to take him out and save him and down he goes there's our second kill second citadel and uh off to the races so he's pretty much safe doesn't have to worry about a radar there's a broadside battleship and um you know, we're doing all right. Our situation's pretty freaking good. We got a broadside of Magi to our right. We have a fragile New Mexico to our, our, uh, to our behind us. We have a, a destroyer that's going to be taken out by our friendly destroyer, and we have two battleships over here that really don't have that good of angles. So, um, situation's feeling pretty good. But I do kind of have to worry out now that those guys are going to be focusing on me um, compared to everything else. So, a nice little 11k salvo. Like no matter what we were really shooting at, we were getting good freaking salvos it was awesome so this is a, not the best situation though because i had two battleships on to one side i'm broadside to them i had a battleship on the other side so what i basically did is i just assumed that the amagi and the new mexico couldn't aim sometimes you just have to do that you just have to assume two parties or, or, or one side doesn't know how to aim so i would rather take shots from a tier 8 battleship and a tier 6 battleship than i would from two tier 8 battleships so that was what i went with so I went kind of angled in towards these guys and uh, instead uh, just let the guys behind me basically, you know, um, not really worry about them at all. So there's a hundred, another nice, decent salvo on him. Uh, I wish I would have shot a little bit lower, probably would have killed him. And uh, the Oigan's going to take out the Terpich, which is good. And the new, uh, the new uh, North Carolina is going to be killed right there. So instantly those guys are just dead. And so I'm like, all right, well, this game's pretty much over. I'm not going to get much damage. Um, so I'm just going to kind of head down the middle and get what we can get so we're at 127 almost 128 right now we just lost another ship and uh, we got this guy we put a nice little like 23k salvo um into him at the start of the game so we'll see what kind of extra damage we can do to this guy now tier 8 guns versus tier 6 armor tends to go into the favor of the tier 8 guns especially when he's going nice and broadside for me so there's another 21k salvo off him five full pens we'll take that all day long there's 100 and almost 50k damage and i figured these guys would kind of be hanging together or um uh since the fair get kind of rolled away so there he was luckily we got the benson kind of helping out and this would ended up being uh later down the road probably my fifth kill but we left him with just enough life for our benson to get a nice little salvo on him so he says i stole a kill from him later in this game henry dog we're even we're even there bud we're fine so what do they have left they have an amagi two new mexicos and the shores so a decent amount of life still left i was thinking hey maybe we can get some more damage um luckily our team you know when the when you want it to happen luckily they were uh cordial enough to um, keep dying so I had a bit more time to farm and uh, we're gonna knock this uh, that was I think the worst salvo I mean that's a pretty decent salvo still even at 45 or 5400 I think that was our worst salvo against this New Mexico so um, feeling pretty good there so he's rocking what 28,000 life left I still don't know where the other New Mexico was from the start of the game and uh, but he's gonna keep sailing broadside and I'm gonna let him do that all day 
Um, he's getting a couple of hits, but my arm is pretty freaking solid compared to his. So 26K left on him. 11, another 11K right there. We'll take that. And uh, we're racking up the damage still. So we're about 127. We've since since then farmed up about another 40K, which I'll take. I'll take that. Um, and we're already at a, at a good game right here. Two kills. Um, high caliber, confederate, close quarters. And uh, going to try to take him. Now, Henry, uh, I think this is the one he told me I, I, I stole from him. But really, really good dispersion. The Alabama is just can be a B sometimes. And there you go. See, Henry Dog, we're even. You got that bent, You got that fair get kill. I got that. So I'll take the damage. So three citadels, three kills, 178 damage. Uh, we will absolutely take that to the bank. And, you know, another situation, I, I thought I wasn't going to get much more damage. And, but we, uh, the team was cordial enough to help us out and uh, sail broadside some more. So another New Mexico. We treated one um, pretty, uh, pretty well. And now this guy's turn to let me get a little bit more damage. And one thing I, I noticed a lot of people not doing is not just trusting their shot. A lot of people just don't trust their shot. I mean, he wasn't spotted, but what's the worst that's going to happen? Are you going to miss? Or are you going to pump out another, what, 12K salvo on that guy? Just trust your shot. Trust your shot, people. The amount of times I see people aim, 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 and then all of a sudden the ship goes undetected, and then they don't shoot, so then they're like, okay, well, I need a new target. Just go for it. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to miss? Who cares? You get another chance in whatever seconds you have on your reload. Just go for it. Give it a try. Um, how much potential damage you're losing on just not taking the shot is is out of this world. So just trust me. Have faith in your aim and, and just keep shooting. So, like, I think I was, I was, a, I was a New Mexico killer this time. We're up to over almost 210 thousand damage in this tier 8 battleship um we can thank a lot of the the broadside sail on battleships and kind of think to the m the matchmaking so here we're just gonna try to finish off this new mechs and start working on that amagi a little bit now this amagi is going to angle a little bit better than the other guys um but still we're going to try to do as much damage as we can to him so down he goes our fourth kill now this shores uh luckily uh, that one probably should have hit me in the front um but uh the uh, the edge of the island clipped a little bit, so that was kind of nice. So one thing, as you can see right here, is I didn't repair the two fires. I was going to wait, just in case I took another torp. And in my head, I was thinking, okay, what's what's the torp range? What's the torp range? What's the torp range? So I figured it was okay to repair relatively soon because he only has four kilometer torps. So he's 4.3. So even if he shoots, kind of like right now, they're going to be really close to not even arming. Luckily, he missed both salvos, so I didn't take like any damage. And if you guys knew that the uh, um, the Alabama has like a really really good torpedo belt anyway, so the damage would have probably been minimal. That's why I was holding on to my um, repair right there with two fires. Usually, if you get two fires, you're gonna need to repair a little bit, um, and because just because the 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 ticking damage is just way too much. But 230 damage, 230k damage. Um, pretty insane. Uh, Magi is kind of not giving us the best chance to do too much damage. He's angling away at us. And then a Magi armor is actually pretty good. Um, known as being a relatively troll tier 8 armor. And I figured out uh, that uh, I might as well just go aggressive here. And the guy asking me in chat, how was the Alabama? Alabama's really good right now. I'll take that. Um, so that he's kind of getting a little aggressive right here. And I figure I'll just pump out as much damage. Get all three turrets. If he kills me, he kills me whatever my team can farm out the rest of the damage and um we got really unlucky right there a, a full salvo um what well, we had a pen and some, and some other stuff right there and we got no damage on it which kind of stunk but um it was all right it, it didn't really matter he's kind of running and the thing right now is he turns way hard to his left and is going to end up giving me a relatively decent angle um without his front guns being there but i didn't want to get killed this late into the game and uh and kind of just sit there with him having that bit of life. So um, four kills, 240,000 damage. Um, that's a pretty good tier eight battleship game, if I can say so myself. That's pretty freaking good. 240,000, four kills, five citadels, um, 752,000 credits. It's a printing machine. It's not as good as Missouri, but still really good. 10,000 basic, look at all those medals. This ship was a lot of fun. I just kind of wanted to show off this game and kind of show you what I was thinking and and showing you that 
you just got to hope for that right little setup and enough broadside to farm enough damage because the Alabama and really any battleship can really do a ton of damage, guys. So hope you guys are having some awesome games out there. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of uh, Tier 8 battleships in the Alabama. And that is it for me, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.